<sighs> Sonic Adventure 3, December 2nd. God, the fan base is in meltdown right now. What is up, guys? It is I, your friendly neighbourhood twat, the Sonic Hat Kalani, and we're here today to talk about the big announcement on December 2nd. Now, Sega have announced on their 60th anniversary website that we'll be getting a Sonic the Hedgehog announcement on December 2nd. Yay for us. And recently, a lot of rumours have sparked up about Sonic Adventure 3 after a certain meme that the Sonic page posted, and to be honest, I think there's some sort of credibility to it. However, as would be assumed, the fan base have taken these two different things and kind of mashed them together and guys I feel like you're running into disappointment right now. I can categorically say there will not be a Sonic Adventure 3 released on December 2nd or even announced for that matter. Now I want to look at some of the things that Sega have been coming out with recently and different things that kind of indicate that it's not going to be a game announcement but there's potential in what it could be nonetheless. I want to start off by saying Azuka has said that it's time for another Sonic animated TV show. And Sonic Boom has been off the air for some time now. There's a gap in the market. And with the success of Sonic Mania Adventures, I think there's something potentially going to be announced. Maybe Sonic will move to Nickelodeon. Who knows? Then maybe we'll get a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover, which my god would be amazing. But I'm pretty sure this isn't a game announcement. Because Sega normally tell us when they're going to announce a game, they normally drop something saying, oh, if you want to find out about a new game, you're going to want to watch this. And there's been nothing of that nature. Granted, we have some time before now and December 2nd, but it just seems a bit implausible to me, guys. I don't know. There is potential that they will announce the announcement of the next Sonic game. So, for instance, it could be a date saying, you know, tune in on this date and you'll find out. I don't think we're going to get the announcement in 2020. i got to be honest with you on that. I think it's much more likely for 2021. So this has some stock and I'd really be excited for that. If I just got a little teaser with a date, I'd have that in my calendar and nothing else would matter. However, I do think it's safe to say no new game. No new game on December 2nd, guys. We're not that lucky. However, in a caveat to that, there have been some really interesting mini games coming out of Sega for the 60th anniversary, and I would love to see something with Sonic. Even if it was just Sega's attempt at the original Flash game on Newgrounds from back in the day, that would be amazing. You know, something to just kind of bide my time with, and yeah, come on, Sega. If you're going to give us a mini game, that would be absolutely amazing. There is a lot of speculation online that we could be getting a poor, and this is a theory that I think has some credibility. If we look at what Sega have been doing, things like giving away Sonic 2 for free on Steam and massively reducing the prices of all of their games on Steam to be fair, I think it could be possible that we're going to introduce a new game to the Sonic Steam catalogue. As I've said, this isn't going to be a new new game, it's just not going to happen, I'm sorry. If I'm wrong, I'll come back with another video and I will hold my hands up and admit it, but pretty sure I'm right on this. Sonic Colours or Sonic Unleashed with a PC port would be amazing. So many people have asked for it, and I'd get so much fun going back over those games on PC. Granted, I can play Unleashed on PlayStation now, but still it would be really nice to have all of those Sonic games together in my library. Just add Shadow and Sonic 06, and then, yay. Sonic Colors is one I'd be really interested in revisiting, because I haven't checked it out since its release on the Wii, so it's been quite some time. Another theory that's going around is Sonic Merch. I don't think they're going to announce merch. I think that would really be a kick in the teeth to fans. Granted, there may be a merch announcement there, but it's certainly not going to be the bulk of it because I'm pretty sure Sega are hearing the complaints that all they're doing is releasing merch. Personally, I love it. I'm a sucker for some good Sonic merch. I'll pay monies and, and live in poverty for the rest of my life. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But I love it nonetheless. But I suppose I should go over the whole Sonic Adventure 3 thing, right? So everyone's looked at this image and thought that Sonic Adventure 3 is coming. I think there's credibility. A lot of people have said, oh, Sega forgot to edit out the 3. Sega aren't stupid. I know a lot of people will argue that, but Sega fundamentally aren't stupid. They know when they're hinting at stuff. They know what they're dropping. 
adventure themed posts have been coming out so much from them over the past like six months or so and the whole aesthetically pleasing thing you know it comes in threes one two three i i think it's very on the nose and if they're not going to announce a sonic adventure 3 at some point then that's kind of it move but one thing i think that's really important to consider is sega could have slapped the title sonic adventure 3 on anything that we've had in the past 10 years since adventure 2 in fact now i get what you're saying boost games they're not adventure blah 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 i know that you care and i know that i care but sega don't care sega would quite happily put the adventure 3 title on a different type of play style because of the sheer money that brings in and they've had opportunities at multiple points sonic heroes kind of sonic adventure 3 sonic 06 kind of Sonic Adventure 3. Sonic Unleashed, originally named Sonic's World Adventure, kind of Sonic Adventure 3. But it's not, it's different gameplay styles. But they could have boosted the sales just by slapping that title on because it's the most anticipated game in the franchise. There is no game that people demand more than Sonic Adventure 3. I see you Sonic Colors 2 lot, but you're not as big. It's Sonic Adventure 3 all the damn way for this franchise. And can that work? Really? I don't know. Sega say they've been spending a lot more time on Sonic games now, and you know, this latest game has been in development for about three years. Not like Sonic Forces, where the engine was in development for three years and the game is actually in development for one. They have the Hedgehog engine too. They have been working on this game for three years, and Aaron Webber said that they really want to make sure the games have a better quality than they have been recently, and, and that's really good to hear. But is their wisest option out of the gate Sonic Adventure 3? Sega, I'm not trying to be horrible here. You've got a lot to prove. Sonic Forces was disappointing for most. Team Sonic Racing was a really good but underrated game. And something needs to change with Sonic. Is the boost formula done? I don't know. I don't hate the boost formula. I hate it when it's used in games like Forces where it's just arbitrary and the whole movement of the game is boost formula. But if you look at Sonic Unleashed Daytime Stages or Sonic Generations Modern Sonic Stages, it's awesome and I love that boost dynamic and I actually think they could bring this together along with the platforming elements that we got in Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. So you have those stages where it is the platforming elements that we've grown to love from the first two and then you have like the max speed sections in Sonic 06 but you have them as boost segments within that level. And if you include Sonic Unleashed's intricate level design, as well as Generations, although I feel the level design was a bit more so on Unleashed, you can really flush out some incredible levels for Sonic Adventure 3. And of course, Sonic Adventure 3 will bring back Sonic, it will bring back Tails, Amy, Knuckles, Shadow, hopefully Silver. I would love to see Silver appear in an adventure game, and I feel like he's kind of earned his place there now. So, I mean, I'm buzzed for Sonic Adventure 3. I think it will be amazing but i also very very concerned it's like there's two parts of me the one part of me is like the person's been burned by sega so many times that i'm terrified of the announcement of a sonic adventure 3 because they could screw up the entire franchise the other side of me that's just here's the name sonic adventure 3 and i feel like a 10 year old in front of my games consoles again like it's just it's troubling man this this is not an easy time to be a sonic fan but even then you know it might not be Sonic Adventure 3. We know there are games coming next year, guys, and maybe it's a Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 remaster that Izuka has said he wants to make, and we've all said that we want. But to Sega listen, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys answer that one. Thank you very much for checking out this video. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, I cover a lot of Sonic news. I'm Calamity Hatcher. Slap a like on it, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one because that's what it takes to be a calamity my friends i'll see you very very soon take care lots of love bye